Okay, so today Kyle and I are working on my BMW E82. Right now it has the mile kit on it, so that includes the knuckle adapter, lower control arm with all the smooth adjusters. We have the prototype of the mini kit. The mini kit is just a smaller knuckle adapter, so the mile kit had like a full um, backing plate that went on with the four hub bolts. This mini kit requires no trimming of the OEM knuckle, just a little bit of clearancing, and, and it attaches right onto the bottom. So today Kyle and I are gonna be installing that on the car as well as just checking fitment and uh, how everything fits up. So let's get into it. So this is the mild kit here. We have our knuckle adapter. Um, and as you can see, a big trim here of the actual OEM knuckle to fit this knuckle adapter. Then you have your tie rod pickup here, then your full lower control arm with a smooth adjuster here to make caster adjustments uh, easy on the car. And then a normal hind joint, three quarter hind joint there on the inside. Uh, so basically we're gonna take all of this off, swap out the OEM knuckle with a full OEM knuckle that hasn't been trimmed, and then fit up the mini kit. There we go. <laughs> Jack Kyle. Jack Kyle. <laughs> All right, so it's been about a month since we installed the E80 E90 kit on my E80. And I've taken it to the track a couple times and honestly, everything feels great. We have made a few revisions. So as you can see in this one compared to the other one, we have a couple cutouts here, have the FDF logo here and kind of just a rounded edge, just for a better looking kind of design. Um, before it was just a flat plate in the front and it works but that was just for the prototype. So this is the actual final result kit. Um, looks a lot, a lot better. Anyway, so today we're gonna be installing this on the car, just to see how everything fits up. And then from that, if everything fits up with, uh, with clearance and everything, and it looks good, then we'll be releasing this uh, as a product for you guys. So if you're an E80 or E90 guy, girl, this will be on the market. So. Let's hop in, let's install this on the car, see how it looks. This is gonna be available before Black Friday. So if you're in the market for a mini kit for your E80, E90 chassis, this is gonna be the ticket. Affordable, durable, lots of angle, looks sick. This is just raw, it'll be powder coated. Um, light, like this is light. Um, what else? Sick beads, welders. Killed it on the beads, but yeah. So let's slap this on the car and see how it looks. So we got the old knuckle adapter back on, um, took the other one off because we're just gonna sandblast it, powder coat it and sell it. But yeah, everything fit up good. The tension arm had some clearance issues. So as you can see, the OEM tension arm has a big, I'll bring it in. The tension arm has a big swoop here, which allows clearance for like this bolt and stuff like that. So ours just had a tie rod, which was 
uh, had clearance issues here. Anyway, needless to say, what we wanted to test was the knuckle adapter and that fit up perfect. So that's gonna be to market very soon for you guys to buy. We also have this bracket that we test fit. So I'll let you take a guess in the comments what this bracket is for, but this slot may give it away. Um, but yeah, we, this is just 3D printed. So we test fit this on the car and it fit up good. Um, so this is going to be tested by, not me, we'll give it to a couple other drivers that we know. Um, another hint, this is gonna be for grip and for drift. So this isn't just a drift part. Um, this will be used for drifting and grip racing. So anyways, lots coming for this chassis. Also let us know down below if there's any other products or if you have one of these chassis and there's something that you want for it. With me owning this car, we've just kind of been developing it, scanned everything and just kind of picking away at what we can perfect on this chassis. Takeaway, mini kit coming soon. Tension arm on hold. We have the lower control arm that we fit, test fit. So utilizing two smooth adjusters, 5.8 Heim joints. Um, this replaced the OEM lower control arm. We test fit that and that actually worked perfect too. We we're debating this could be a uniball as well, but we're using two Heim joints, smooth adjusters, lots of adjustment. That's it. Thanks you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.